second method is very very simple and our second method is called nodal method okay so if i look at our system here in the down, downward section i have applied a force and here two displacement is happening uh, over here displacement x1 is happened on the block m1 and the displacement x2 is happened on the x2 so uh, our first method is very uh, our, our first method is uh, our say uh, free body diagram method but here i want to introduce to you another different method which is our nodal method okay so first i like to draw the node so first node is x1 t and the second node is x2 t so this method is very very simple you can you can choose any type of method also in order to solve this problem but i have chosen this method as for me this method is very very simple for me okay so you need to follow that the x1 is connected with m1 so i am i am drawing the m1 block over here as the m1 is connected with x1 t and the next one is very simple the k1 and b1 is placed in between the x1 and x2 so in between an x1 and x2 i need to put the k1 and b1 so i will draw over here so this one is our k1 and this one is our b1 okay and what what are the connecting blocks with our x2 the simple the m2 is connected with our x2 okay so this block is m2 and the b2 is connected with x2 so our b2 is connected with that and the last one is our k2 is connected with our x2 okay so this is our block and our supply is connected with our x1 that is why i will draw the supply over here which is our supply force which is our ft so this is our block diagram by using our nodal method i like to repeat that one second that first introduce the x1 t and x2 t and what are the blocks are connected with x1 and x2 t you need to find out that so first over here in the right hand side the x1 is connected with the m1 okay and our force is also applied on the node x1 that is why i am drawing this these two block over here and that is solely connected with x1 t and what are the connecting block block with our x2 x2 is connected with m2 k2 and our last one is this one is b2 i have forgotten to write over here so this one is b2 okay so this one is our b2 block okay and uh, in between our x1 and x2 t there in between x1 and x2 t there are two block uh, two quantities or two passive elements are here one is our k1 and the another is one or b1 so what are the method to write this type of equation the equation is very simple by using the nodal equation if you miss my nodal classes or nodal method uh, from a uh, circuit theory please check out that over here so here the ft is been thrown inside and what is the equation over here the equation is very simple these all these things are things are minus okay if i am taking that x1 t is our reference node so what is the solution the solution is very simple ft minus m1 d2 x1 t divided by d t2 as i am taking that x1 is our reference so x1 is greater compared to x2 so what is the uh, equation of this so minus k1 x1 t minus of x2 t and the last one is minus b1 d dt of x1 t minus x2 t which is equal to 0 so this is our equation 1 okay i want to tell you that once again as 
the FT is inward, then all these quantities are outward. And uh, this is our equation over here. So, po, uh, force FT minus M1 D2 X1 D by divided by DT2 minus of K1 as I am taking that X1 is our reference point. So, X1 will be greater over here. So, K1 X1 T minus of X2 T and the rest of the equation is minus B1 D2 T of X1 T minus X2 T is equal to 0. So, what if I have applied the same form of equation over here the X2 the same equation is over here. If I for K1, the equation is very simple. For the Q1, the equation is minus K1 or minus K1 X2 T minus of X1 T. So, this is for this common part. The next one is as I am taking that X2 is our reference, that is why x2 is greater compared with x1 ok have you got my point and the next one is our b1 d dt of x2 t minus x1 t and the for the mass for this one minus m2 d2 x2 t divided by dt2 and for the b2 minus b2 d dt of x2 t and the last one is minus k2 x2 t which is is equal to 0. So, this is our equation 2 ok. So, I have used two method in order to solve the same problem. The first method is uh, placed in my first video and this one is our second method and I am going to tell you that I am using this method as for me this method is easier to understand for me that is why I am uh, I am going to solve six problems from here on but I am using this nodal method as this nodal method is very very uh, easier for me but you can choose uh, the earlier method also so which one is beneficial for you you should choose over here ok have you got my point on how do I solve this type of uh, two equation so those these two equations are very very important in order to solve this problem ok so this is our nodal method if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below please like my channel do subscribe my channel please do subscribe my channel I want to repeat that please subscribe my channel ok so this is our second method on uh, for our same diagram I have given you two methods so which method is better for you so you should choose ok so this is all about our how do I solve this mechanical problem over here our next step is very vital how do I convert this T domain into S domain and ultimately transform that equation into transfer function that is our main focal point so I have chosen the same problem over here that will help you to solve uh, this problem in your own way ok so this is my first equation and this is my second equation so how do I transform this equation into S domain so uh, let see that so I will erase this portion I have transformed this diagram into this diagram in order to uh, find out the equation of our elements ok and I have got these two equation ok so this is this diagram is designed by nodal method and I am using this nodal method over here so I will erase this portion to solve these two equation over here ok do you understand what I am talking about ok so I will erase this nodal method this is the upper diagram So, I have these two equations. So, after I am taking this Laplace of this whole equation, what I have got? The equation is very simple. Fs is equal to is equal to m1 s square x1s plus k1 
एक्स वन एस माइनस एक्स टू एस माइनस बी वन एस एक्स वन एस माइनस एक्स टू एस ओके एंड इन द इक्वेशन टू इफ आई अप्लाई द सेम लैपलास ट्रांसफॉर्म आई हैव गोट द इक्वेशन के वन के वन एक्स टू एस माइनस एक्स वन एस के वन एक्स टू एस माइनस एक्स वन एस प्लस आई एम टेकिंग दिस दिस माइनस कॉमन एंड एस द राइट हैंड साइड इज इज इक्वल टू जीरो दैट इज व्हाई दिस माइनस इज एलिमिनेटेड ओवर हियर ओके सो प्लस बी वन एस x2 s minus x1 s minus m2 s square x2 s plus b2 s x2 s the last one is plus k2 x2 s is equal to zero okay so this is our equation 3 and this is our equation 4 so if i am applying the laplace or in a direct sense i need to transform the t domain into s domain that is why i am applying the laplace transform of uh, this equation 1 and 2 so after applying the laplace transform i have got this equation 3 and the equation 4 so i will erase these uh, two equation as After transforming the Laplace transform, I have got the equation three and four. So I will erase this T domain portion. If you have noted down these two equation over here, so I will erase this portion to have the proper space uh, for the rest of the solution. Okay. So what I have got? This one is. If I am taking that for equation this one, uh, equation one, if I am trying to solve the equation f s square x one s plus k one x one s minus k one x two s minus b one s x one s plus B one s x two s. Okay, I am taking the x one as our common part over here. So x one is if I am taking the common, the m one s square plus k one and this one minus b one s. Okay. I am taking the x1s uh, common over here. So m1 s square this one plus k1 this one and uh, minus b1 s. And what are the rest of the equation over here? The equation is very simple. If I am taking that uh, plus p1 s minus k1, which is the X two s. If I am taking the X two s common, I have got b one s minus of k one to X two s. So this is our equation one. Okay. So for the next one, if I am taking the X one s uh, uh, the same form as a common from the equation four, what is the solution over there? So I will erase this portion. Okay, so so note down this equation as as f s is our x one s common of this one. So I will erase uh, erase this line. Okay, this middle line. So for the equation two, if I try to simplify over here, so I will write. Uh, The upper line over here to have a proper space. Okay, so 
the equation is very simple over here q1 x2 s minus q1 x1 s plus v1 s x2 s minus b1 s x1 s minus m2 s square x2 s this one plus b2 s x2 s the last portion is plus k2 x2 s which is equal to 0 and I am taking as k1 as common so from this method so up from this line to this line I have got if I am taking that the x1 is as common so what we have got if I am taking the x1 as common minus k1 for this one minus b1 s and the rest of the is our x2 s okay and if I am taking the b2 s as common or sorry x2 s as common if I am taking the x2 s as common what is the solution k1 plus b1 s minus m2 s square and uh, ok plus b2 s plus k2 is equal to 0 so this is our solution over here so what is the need to find out uh, or need to come on this uh, equation you may have got the transfer function in the form of uh, output divided by input so what is the output the x2 s divided by fs or you can find out the another form here if you take the x1 s as your output so x1 is by fs so these two solutions are our possibility in order to find out the transfer function of the system ok so you can find out these two solution the solution one is x2 s divided by fs and x1 is x1 is divided by fs so these uh, two fractions are our transfer function of the solution ok so by using this equation as fs uh, and rest of the equation and in the upper part if I am taking the x1 as common and x2 as common is equal to 0 ok so I have got this two form and by rearranging these two equation you may find out the x2 s by x2 s divided by fs which is the one form of a transfer function if you are taking that the x2 s is our output displacement over here and if you take another solution also that is uh, our x1 s divided by fs as fs is our input and here our output is two different displacement points are there one displacement point is our x1 s and the another displacement point is our x2 s and the input is our fs so by using these two ratio you have got your transfer function solution and what are the needed solution over here so you should choose uh, from this solution so this is the method uh, in order to find out or in order to solve this type of mass spring transport system and ultimately how do i convert uh, the time domain system uh, time domain equation into s domain by using the laplace transform and finally i have got the ratio of transfer function which is our main objective in order to find out or in order to solve this type of problem so this is our basic method to solve this type of problem hope you you have liked this type of videos if you still have any doubts please let me know in the comment section below so thank you